going on there right now. Isn't that right? That's entirely correct. Uh, the Koch brothers um, come out of Wichita, Kansas, and they uh, inherited uh, uh, industrial uh, business that their father had developed that was worth about $300 million at the time. Um, they bought out their other two brothers for $1.1 million in the early 80s, and now it's a conglomerate that generates on the order of $100 billion a year. Wow. They're very busy individuals. Um, they focus their, their businesses in core industries, uh, pipelines, uh, energy, um, refining, they trade in commodities, and they have been more than active in politics. Um, and, and as you aptly pointed out, uh, there is a cert certain amount of culmination that's taking place in Wisconsin and Ohio and, and Idaho. However, I think for the listenership, it would be instructive to go back about 50, 51 years to their father, Fred Koch, Right. who was the co-founder of the John Birch Society in 1960. And the reason that he found it, founded it was to purify the race. Uh, I think that, that that's a, a signal as to what his uh, approach and what his interests were. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the plan is to dismantle the social safety net, uh, wipe out in effect, the middle class, and mm -hmm. render the United States no more difficult than any other um, middle-of-the-road country in the world. This is part of the plan toward the New World Order, the corporatocracy, and uh, uh, the Koch brothers um, have clearly been in on it early on, and they've been, I have to uh, acknowledge, they've been very effective in what they've done. They've used their, their money, and they've used their, um, their agenda mm -hmm. uh, to um, make a lot of money, and, and they're in the process, uh, unless people really stand up, they're in the process of, of accomplishing a lot of what they've set out to do, which is the dismantling of the Democratic Party, of progressive politics, and uh, to privatize anything that um, they deem worth owning. And in the case of Wisconsin, we can clearly see that part of this um, part of this bill that that. Governor Walker initially tried to put through was included a provision for uh, no bid sales of yes. the utilities in the in the state of Wisconsin, and not um, not coincidentally, the Koch brothers have a number of businesses which are um, prime prime uh, buyers for that for those utilities, and uh, they would undoubtedly have the opportunity to get them. Uh, at sweetheart prices. One does wonder what some of these actors who seem to be clearly funded and, um, and promoted by the, the Koch brothers are going to receive in exchange for their, their services. Um, oh, yeah. Kasich, Kasich in Ohio, Walker in, um, in Wisconsin. Um, so I, I think that that's, that's kind of a 50-year a view of, right. of how this has developed. Now, would you like to focus on, on what they're... Yeah, what that, they... that's good, Jack. We, now we have a, an idea who the Koch brothers are, and uh, they say the nut doesn't fall very far from the tree, and their dad right. sounds like a, pretty much a wacko who was uh, racist and had uh, some pretty crazy ideas, but... Just everything you've you've described, folks. It's so easy to see. You like to say you're wild-eyed conspiracy theorists. It's it's developing right in front of our eyes. It's happening while we're living. All right. We're not talking about things that are yet to come. We're talking about things that have come, and we can see our world is changing, and it's not for the better. Yeah. And you're right, Jack. There is this uh, equalization going on in the world where everybody's going to be on the same uh, playing ground. But there's only going to be one ruling elitist class, and everybody else is going to be basically struggling. And we're seeing that happening uh, in our own country today. 
Yeah, it's the here and now. And guys like uh, the Koch brothers, even though during the Depression in the 30s, there were winners. Everybody thinks there were losers. But if money is fleeing out of the middle class, it's got to go somewhere, right? It doesn't evaporate. It's, it's flowing to somebody. If it's flowing well, out of the a, middle class, it's flowing to somebody, right? There's been a tremendous transfer of, of wealth to the upper 2% or less. Absolutely. 51% of the wealth is, is controlled by 2% of, the, uh, of, of, of America. And the disparity in the incomes is increasing, and the disparity, it, it's, it's more now than it was in the 20s during the time of the robber barons and just prior to the Depression. Yeah, and this effort to break the... One of the techniques that the Koch brothers use, they have upwards of 50 shell organizations which wow. um, purport to be authoritative, uh, various points of view, anti-global warming, uh, and so forth, and, and there's, there's nobody home. So it's, it's just an, a shell game, and it's another way that the um, media can, uh, which has become increasingly consolidated with, uh, like, Fox and Rupert Murdoch being the, the propaganda uh, vehicle for the conservative movement. Um, it's just another way that they can bamboozle the public and, and appear to be uh, authoritative and valid. Now, when we talk about the conservative movement, Jack, a, a lot of people may say, well, there's a lot of good people who consider them conservatives. Uh, they just mm -hmm. have uh, family values, and they want to see mm -hmm. limited government, and they want to see more more empowerment of the people and uh, a smaller government and, and more money kept in the pockets of the people. You know, what's wrong with that? But we're not talking about that kind of conservatism, right? If you really no, look not. at those values... No, I, I call those people yeah. honorable conservatives, and I yeah. think that they're just a handshake away from, from genuine progressives. I, uh, these, the people that are in the process of dividing and conquering, of using um, hot-button issues like abortion and religion and things that are highly divisive and in many cases make... Uh, encourage people to vote against their best economic interests or against the common good, um, that's the kind of conservative these people... Uh, for instance, I'll give you a little juicy tidbit. Apparently in 1980, David Koch, one of the Koch brothers, moved to the Hamptons. And he, he was um, said to throw parties uh, much like you, Hefner, which I assume are um, pretty much orgies. Yes. So um, if, if they're talking about a budget deficits in Wisconsin, the budget, budget deficit was created. When, when Governor Walker took over, there was a $51 million surplus. He created a $127 million deficit wow. by giving tax breaks to the, to the wealthy. Now, uh, I, I, if, if, if the, one of the main vehicles for funding and political activism is Americans for Prosperity, which mm -hmm. is um, a Koch brother uh, creation, uh, they spent $56 million on the midterm election. Um, it, it may be prosperity for the Koch brothers, but what about the people who've lost their homes, lost their jobs, are, are losing uh, a sense of security? I speak to people. I have friends mm -hmm. who've been out protesting at the, at the Capitol, and they chose to, to have benefits, ra good benefits, rather than high salaries. Now, now, now everything is being diminished. So it, it, it's... It's do as I say, not what I do, yes. and and it's it's probably to be candid. It's hypocritical. It's just political manipulation. Absolutely, and and as you say.